Like I mentioned in the last video, I've got something special planned for the month of October. I'm going to try to participate in Inktober and upload a video every day next month. Before I get started, I want to give a shout out to Bailey Barnett. I ordered this adorable little ceramic well for my ink and was surprised to find she threw in a free brush rest. And it's a pumpkin. She didn't pay me to mention her, I just wanted to say thanks by letting you guys know about her shop, Rainy Day Ceramics US. Links to her storefront and whatever else I end up mentioning in this video will be in the description along with a list of the supplies I'm using today. For those of you not familiar, Inktober is a monthly drawing challenge started by Jake Parker about 10 years or so ago. The point of it is to practice drawing with an emphasis on inking. There's an official prompt list, and I think there's a fancy art subscription box and everything to go along with it. You should check out his FAQ page if it's new to you and you want to know more. Anyway, the official prompt list for Inktober was a bit much for me since I don't do character drawing or any of that. However, I discovered along the way that making unofficial prompt lists is actually a thing. Like I saw one with a Star Wars theme and one with a witch theme. So I made myself one with a Zentangle theme. And when I got done with the list, I thought, hey, maybe some other people want to do Zentangle Inktober, but you know, need a little prompting. So I made up this printable, which you can download on my website for free if you want. If you don't know much about the Zentangle method of drawing, the prompts might not make any sense. So I posted an explainer on my website with links to a bunch of resources. Many of them um, are from the official Zentangle creators and other CZTs. Uh, that's certified Zentangle teachers. I am not a certified teacher, by the way. If you're learning anything from me, it is as my peer, not my student. I don't want anyone to be like, you're a hack. <laughs> I'm offended because I totally am a hack at this. And if you're offended, it's your own fault. If you were wanting something super polished from me today, I'm sorry, <laughs> this calendar isn't it. Um, it turned into a warm-up exercise for me to explore working with India ink and ink washes. I wanted to test out some different techniques and it turns out I really like it. You saw me mixing the ink with water to get lighter and darker values, and later I'll test it with a jelly roll. Um, try masking with painter's tape, doing a wet on wet application, uh, yeah. So it turns out as I was filling in the calendar squares with the light wash, it was so relaxing. Maybe I'm weird. Okay, I know I'm weird, but I can see me just drawing a bunch of squares on a piece of paper and painting them in all day long. One thing I learned from watching other YouTubers do ink washes is that it's easiest if you drop your initial stroke somewhere in the middle of the area you want to paint and slowly push it out towards your line. Here on this top bar, I didn't quite get the ink as dark as I wanted, so I added an extra layer before moving on. Then I started using the jelly roll to write the days of the week. 
I think it looks nice. Uh, just remember to let your ink dry totally. It smears easily when it's still damp and it'll muddy up your white ink if it's wet. I also wanted to try the Jelly Roll on the lighter wash. Naturally, it doesn't show as much without the contrast, but I have plans to use that to my advantage at some point. So now I'm applying painter's tape to protect the area I want to keep white, laying down a wash of clean water, and then dropping ink on the paper. Watching the ink bloom is cool, but obviously I don't recommend it if you like to have a lot of control over what happens with your art. Lastly, I wrote in a Zentangle related prompt for each day to test how the Micron ink worked layered over the wash and the jelly roll. I learned quite a bit with this exercise and I'm excited to see what I can do for Inktober this year. I'd like to add that these prompts are intended to just be prompts. It's not an assignment or anything, and no one who looks at what you draw has to be able to make a connection between your art and the prompt you used. It's merely a suggestion if you need it. In keeping with the spirit of both Zentangle and Inktober, the whole point is that you do you. 
Alternately, if you want to just draw along with me and try to uh, recreate what I put down on the page because that's easier, totally do that. Uh, the way I see it, we're just here to have fun and get in some consistent practice. The one caveat I'd add is that if you recreate Mickey Mouse or something for the fan art prompt um, on day 14 and you try selling it, expect consequences. If you plan on using my prompt list, I'd love for you to tag me on social media to show me what you come up with. I'm at Emily Cease on both Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget to also use the Inktober hashtag. Participating in this online event is kind of the whole point, right? Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.